When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would see Jagannath along with Balaram and Subhadra, he would immediately think that he had reached Kurusetra, where all of them had come. He would think that his life was successful because he had seen the lotus-eyed one, who, if seen, pacifies the mind and eyes. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would see Lord Jagannath along with Balaram and Subhadra, he would immediately think that he had reached Kurusetra, where all of them had come. He would think that his life was now successful because he had seen the lotus-eyed one, if, whom if seen pacifies the body, mind, and eyes. <clears throat> Staying near the Garuda Stamba, the Lord would look upon Lord Jagannath. What can be said about the strength of that love? On the ground beneath the column of the Garuda Stamba was a deep ditch, and that ditch was filled with the water of his tears. When coming from Lord Jagannath Temple to return to his house, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to sit on the ground and mark it with his nails. At such times he would, greatly be, he would be greatly morose and would cry, Alas, where is Vrindavan? Where is Krishna, the king of the coward men? Where is that person who plays the flute? When coming from Jagannath Temple to return to his house, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to sit on the ground and mark it with his nails. At such times he would be greatly morose and would cry, Alas, where is Vrindavan? Where is Krishna, the son of the king of the cowherd men? Where is that person who plays the flute? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to lament by saying, Where is Krishna, whose form is curved in three places? Where is Krishna, whose form is curved in three places? Where is that sweet song of his flute? And where is the bank of the Yamuna? Where is the rasa dance? Where is that singing and laughing? Where is my Lord, Madan Mohan, the enchanter of Cupid? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to lament by saying, Where is Krishna, whose form is curved in three places? Where is the sweet song of his flute? Where is the sweet song of his flute? Where is the bank of the Yamuna? Where is the bank of the Yamuna? And where is that rasa dance? Where is the rasa dance? Where is that dancing, singing, and laughing? And where is my Lord? Where is my Lord, Madan Mohan, the enchanter of Cupid? And where is my Lord, Madan Mohan, the enchanter of Cupid? In this way, various ecstatic emotions evolved, and the mind of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was filled with anxiety. He could not escape for even a moment. In this way, because of fierce feelings of separation, his patience began to totter, and he began to recite various verses. O oh my Lord, O oh Supreme Personality of Godhead, O oh my Lord, O oh Supreme Personality of Godhead, O oh Friend of the Helpless, O oh Friend of the Helpless, you are an ocean of mercy. Because I have not met you. Because I have not met you. My inauspicious days and nights have become unbearable. Because I have not met you. My inauspicious days and nights have become unbearable. I do not know how I shall pass the time. 
O my Lord, O Supreme Personality of Godhead, O friend of the helpless, O friend of the helpless, you are an ocean of mercy. Because I have not met you, my inauspicious days and nights have become unbearable. I do not know how I shall pass the time. All these inauspicious days and nights are not passing. All these inauspicious days and nights are not passing. For I have not met you. It is difficult to know how to pass all this time. But you are the friend of the helpless. But you are the friend of the helpless. In an ocean of mercy. Kindly give me your audience. Kindly give me your audience, for I am in a precarious position. For I am in a precarious position. In this way, the Lord's restlessness was awakened by ecstatic feelings. And his mind became agitated. No one could understand what course this ecstasy would take. Because Lord Chaitanya could not meet the Supreme Personality of God at Krishna, his mind was burned. Uh, he began to ask Krishna about the means by which he could reach him. Oh, Krishna. Oh, flute player. The sweetness of your early age is wonderful. The sweetness of your early age is wonderful. Within these three worlds, you know my unsteadiness, and I know yours. No one else knows about this. No one else knows about this. I want to see your beautiful, attractive face. I want to see your beautiful, attractive face. Somewhere in a solitary place. But how can this be accomplished? My dear Krishna, only you and I know the strength of your beautiful features. My dear Krishna, only you and I know the strength of your beautiful features. And because of them, my unsteadiness, and because of them, my unsteadiness. Now this is my position. I do not know what to do or where to go. I do not know what to do or where to go. Where can I find you? Where can I find you? I 
am asking you to give directions. I am asking you to give directions. Because of various kinds of ecstasy, contradictory states of mind occurred. This and this resulted in great fight between different types of ecstasy. Anxiety, impotence, humility, anger, and impatience were all like soldiers fighting. And the madness of love of Godhead was the cause. The body of the Lord was just like a field of sugar cane, which the mad elephants of ecstasy entered. The body of the Lord was just like a field of sugar cane into which the mad elephants of ecstasy entered. There was a fight amongst the elephants. And in the process, the entire field of sugar cane was destroyed. Thus, transcendental madness was awakened in the body of the Lord. And he experienced despondency in mind and body. In this ecstatic condition, he began to speak as follows. O oh my Lord, O oh dearest one. O oh my Lord, O oh dearest one. O oh, only friend of the universe, O oh, only friend of the universe, O oh, Krishna, O oh, restless one, O oh, ocean of mercy, O oh, ocean of mercy, O oh, my Lord, O oh, my enjoyer, O oh, my Lord, O oh, my enjoyer. O oh, beloved of my eyes, alas, when will you again be visible to me? <laughs> The symptoms of madness served as an impetus for remembering Krishna. The mood of ecstasy awoke love, disdain, defamation by words, pride, honor, and indirect prayer. Thus Sri Krishna was sometimes blasphemed and sometimes honored. In the attitude of Radharani, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu addressed Krishna. My dear Lord, you are engaged in your pastimes and you utilize all the women in the universe according to your desire. You are so kind to me. Please divert your attention to me. For by fortune you have appeared before me. My dear Lord, you attract all the women of the universe. My dear Lord, you attract all the women of the universe. And you make adjustments for all of them when they appear. You are Lord Krishna. You are Lord Krishna. And you can enchant everyone. But on the whole, you are nothing but a debauchee who can honor you. My dear Krishna, your mind is always restless. You cannot remain in one place, but you are not at fault for this. You are actually the ocean of mercy, the friend of my heart. You are actually the ocean of mercy and the friend of my heart.
Therefore, I have no reason to be angry with you. My dear Lord, you are the master in the life of the soul of Vrindavan. My dear Lord, you are the master in the life and soul of Vrindavan. Kindly arrange for the deliverance of Vrindavan. Kindly arrange for the deliverance of Vrindavan. <laughs> We have no leisure hours away from our many activities. Actually, you are my enjoyer. Actually, you are my enjoyer. You have appeared just to give me happiness. You have appeared just to give me happiness. <laughs> And this is one of your expert activities. And this is one of your expert activities. Uh, uh, taking my words as defamation. <laughs> Lord Krishna has left me. I know that he is gone. But kindly hear my prayers in praise. Kindly hear my prayers in praise. You are the satisfaction of my eyes. You are the satisfaction of my eyes. You are the wealth of my life. You are the wealth of my life. Alas, please give me your audience once again. Alas, please give me your audience once again. There are different transformations of the body of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu being stunned, trembling, perspiring, fading away of color, weeping, choking of the voice. In this way, his whole body was pervaded by transcendental joy. As a result, sometimes Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would laugh, sometimes cry, sometimes dance, and sometimes sing. Sometimes he would get up and run here and there, and sometimes fall on the ground and lose consciousness. <clears throat> when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was un thus unconscious, he happened to meet the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Consequently, he got up <clears throat> and immediately made a tumultuous sound, very loudly declaring, Now, Krishna, the Great Personality is present. In this way, because of Krishna's sweet qualities, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made different types of mistakes in his mind. Thus, by reciting the following verse, he ascertained the presence of Lord Krishna. In the attitude of Radharani, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu addressed the gopis. My dear friends, where is that Krishna? <laughs> <laughs> Cupid personified. Who has the effulgence of a Kandamba flower? Who has the effulgence of a Kandamba flower? Who is sweetness itself? Who is sweetness itself? The nectar of my eyes and mind. The nectar of my eyes and mind. He who loosens the hair of the gopis. Who is the supreme source of transcendental bliss. 
who is the supreme source of transcendental bliss in my life and soul, in my life and soul. He has, has he come before my eyes again? Has he come before my eyes again? <laughs> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then began to talk like this. Is Cupid personified present with the effulgence and reflection of the Kandamba tree? Is Cupid personified present with the effulgence and the reflection of a Kandamba tree? Is he the same person personified sweetness? Who is the pleasure of my eyes and mind? Who is my life and soul? Krishna, Krishna actually came before my eyes. Is Cupid personified present with the effulgence and reflection of a Kandamba tree? Is he the same person, personified sweetness, who is the pleasure of my eyes and mind, who is my life and soul? Has Krishna actually come before my eyes? As the spiritual master chastises the disciple and teaches him the art of devotional service, so the ecstatic symptoms of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, including despondency, moroseness, humility, restlessness, joy, endurance, and anger, instructed his body and mind. In this way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu passed his time. He also passed his time reading the books and singing songs of Chandidas and Vidyapati and listening to the quotations from Jagadavallabha Natika, Krishna Karnamrita and Gita Govinda. Thus, in the association of Swarabdhamadar and Ramananda Roy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu passed his days and nights chanting and hearing with great pleasure. He also passed his time reading books and singing songs of Chandidas in Vijapati and listening to quotations from Jagannath Vallabhanatika, Krishna Kanamrita, and Gita Govinda. Thus, in the association of Swarabdhamadar and Ramananda Roy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu passed his days and nights chanting and hearing with great pleasure. Mm. Among his associates, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu enjoyed paternal loving affection with Parmananda Puri, friendly affection with Ramananda Roy, unalloyed service from Govinda and others and humors of conjugal love with Gadadhar. Jagannanda and Swarodhamadhar. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu enjoyed all these mellows and thus he remained obliged to his devotees. Among his associates, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu enjoyed paternal loving affection from Parmananda Puri, friendly affection with Ramananda Roy, unalloyed service from Govinda and others, and humors of conjugal love with Gadadhar, Jagannanda, and Swarup Damodar. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu enjoyed all these four mellows, and he remained obliged to his devotees.
Leila Lukshu, Bivalamangal Thakur, was an ordinary human being, yet he developed many ecstatic symptoms in his body. What then is so astonishing about these symptoms? Being manifest in the body of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In the ecstatic mood of conjugal love, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was on the highest platform. Therefore, all the exuberant ecstasies were naturally visible in his body. In the ecstatic mood of conjugal love, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was on the highest platform. Therefore, all the exuberant ecstasies were natural in his body. If anybody's here, you're welcome to come in. I don't know if you do that or doors open. During his previous pastimes in Vrindavan, Lord Krishna desired to enjoy the three types of ecstasy. During his previous pastimes in Vrindavan, Lord Krishna desired to enjoy the three types of ecstasy, but despite great endeavor, he could not taste them. Such ecstasies are the monopoly of Srimati Radharani. Therefore, in order to taste them, Sri Krishna accepted the position of Srimati Radharani in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm. 